Ever dreamt of visiting Mars rather than just watching a space documentary on an old TV in class? Well, with virtual reality, that's now possible. Well, almost. More and more schools are exploring ways to integrate this tech into their curriculum. And now Meta announced a new education product for its Quest devices. But will VR in classrooms really become a thing? Meta is betting big on VR in education. In a recent blog post, they said that its potential for education is one of the most exciting aspects of VR. They're promising to empower teachers with access to education-specific apps and the ability to manage multiple devices at the same time, which would remove the hassle of preparing each student's headset separately. Meanwhile, products from other VR companies like ClassVR or Arbor XR are already on the market and Microsoft has long touted its AR goggles HoloLens as an educational tool. But why learn with VR? Well, here are the three main upsides. Students would be able to see and experience things that otherwise wouldn't be possible. Tired of reading about dinosaurs? Why not just walk alongside them? In VR, you could visit any time in history, any place on Earth, any other planet, you get the idea. Immersion can also make learning more interesting and deepen understanding. A teacher from the UK experimenting with VR had this to say about it. The retention is fantastic. Once they've seen something, they'll remember it. And um, there's a deeper understanding because they can manipulate an object, they can see it from all sides, they can see how it works. You can um, you know, have a big beating heart and you can see the flow of blood through it and you can understand the chambers and the valves. It's literally walk through a heart, uh, things like that. VR can also provide a safe environment for science experiments that would be dangerous in real life, all while sparing schools the cost of safety measures and potentially damaged equipment. All right, so that sounds pretty good so far, but there are, of course, also some downsides. The biggest hurdle at the moment is the cost. Meta's Quest 3 starts at around 550 euros a piece. Then you've got to buy the apps on top of that. Schools often have a very limited budget as it is, which means that this tech is probably only going to be available to privately funded schools. Most won't be able to afford individual headsets for every single student. Also, there's already a discussion about kids getting too much screen time, and I can't imagine every parent would be stoked with adding a VR headset into the mix. Besides that, there are also concerns that VR learning could actually deteriorate human connection. And simple but important, as with any digital tool, there can be technical issues. This can interrupt the learning process and cause frustration among students and teachers. So can VR learning really be an option? Well, some schools and universities are already experimenting with the tech, such as that English school of the teacher we heard from before, or New Mexico State University in the US. Their criminology students are diving into virtual crime scenes to learn how to investigate them. And with tech giant Meta now pushing into education, more developers might be motivated to build educational apps. For me, it's definitely a great opportunity to get out of dusty classrooms and make learning more engaging. But until the prices come down, this will likely only be an option for a rich minority. Would you like to use VR headsets in the classroom or wish this tech was around when you were in school? Let us know.